the pit bull attack on this local teenager. Last night, News 4 told you the same two dogs were involved in another attack previously, but were returned to the owner. In this latest case, police shot and killed one of the dogs. But now, News 4's Matt Sesney learns the surviving dog could once again be returned to the owner. That's right, Larry. It seems Illinois state law would allow that. But from what we've been able to find out tonight, the Madison County State's Attorney, East Alton Police, and Madison County Animal Control are now trying to figure out what they can do with that surviving pit bull. It's almost like they go into a frenzy when they get into a fight. Chris Christensen has seen pit bulls at their worst. As a former canine police officer and now a dog trainer, Christensen believes the pit bull that attacked 19-year-old Kristen Bays this week will most likely attack again. And once dogs do taste blood, and I thought this was a wives' tale many years ago, their personalities do change. And it seems it did happen before when we found a Wood River police report that documented an attack by the same dogs three years ago on a 29-year-old man. That prior incident has East Alton's police chief wanting to take some action. Under state laws, a lot of it has to do with repetition and the seriousness. And at this point, with the repeated attacks, we're seeking uh, an injunction from the court. An injunction that would label the dog as vicious, but could also return the animal to its owner under strict guidelines, such as enclosing it in a six-foot fence and muzzling and chaining it when out in public. People are going to tell you that they can counter-condition these dogs. I don't think when the dog has bit one or two people that you're going to counter-condition that behavior. But the decision on the dog, now in quarantine, may ultimately be up to a judge. In Edwardsville, Matt Sesney, News 4.